Hey guys, this is Grandmaster Max Sillingworth, and in this video, we'll see how to win against a 947. Just for fun, I might decide to sack the queen early and just see how that plays out. So I'll play the four move checkmate, and if he prevents it, I'll just sack the queen as such. Of course, now that I've said it, it's hard for me to just bail at this point. But still, why not have some fun and play with queen odds? Actually, one of my friends wants to play this Queen F6 against his uh, uh, group of young uh, students as sort of a joke to see if they would fall for his bluff. So, when you're down material, the best approach in general is just to make it as hard as possible for them to attack you. Uh, so, my opponent's doing the right thing here, exchanging off some pieces and basically you know, making his extra queen more valuable. I'll start with knight d2 and defend my king with knight f3. Kind of what I'm hoping for is that he'll somehow run into some bishop g5 and I can annoy him that way. I'll start with a4 actually, to see if I can somehow make him fall for trapping his bishop. So I'll play c3 and hope he doesn't play. He allows me to play b4 and win the bishop like that. I mean, when you're in a losing position, you sort of just have to play for tricks. It's a very chance really to turn the tables on your opponent as such when you're down this much material and it does that good just to make it as hard as possible for them to basically attack your pieces if you can keep her well defended it's a, a good sign so the fact he's given up a pawn to free his bishop is already uh, you know, a good start towards swindling this game so I probably will play for b4 fairly soon Um, yeah, he's playing it really well actually other than this d5 but he's still clearly winning so I'll play knight c4 and I'll just try and keep the position as solid as I can. Uh, maybe I can I hope that he blunders something in the next so many moves. Because that's really what you're relying on in this position. It's relying really prone to leave some pieces on pre. Because it's going to be hard just to strategically outplay him with a queen less. So you have to... Well, I just have to try and flag him. It can be the what has to be done at some point. One good thing is at least it's hard for him to... Uh, to free his position here and I could play takes and bishop c5 and regain an exchange but I think I have better swindling chances if I just keep the position locked up and make it as hard as possible and to find a constructive plan and then he might hopefully blunder something from there so uh, that's why I think my knight is actually very reliable and yeah just blunder pawn because yeah he uh, thought there were more attackers and defenders so he kind of miscounted them here and the result is that actually I'm not, probably not losing anymore. Sure, Black does have, well, he did have only, uh, have a queen for a rook, a bishop and pawn. Now it's two pawns, so, you know, he's kind of, I guess, rage quitting a bit. And, you know, White is winning with the, uh, with the extra, uh, the extra material. Uh, do have to be a little bit careful. He has queen e3, but I can defend it with rook d1 and he doesn't really have a threat. So I can kind of consolidate my extra material from there. I'll just break the pin and if he lets me I'll play rookie 2 and okay, he wants to go this way. Uh, I might play d4 and just try and use my extra material dynamically. It's one thing I see quite a lot with uh, you know many club players is they play a bit too passively when they're up material. So the right thing to do is to use the material aggressively and in the case this endgame try to just queen your pawn is, is generally a good idea. Um, and White starts to be a little bit careful because of the Queen, but he can't really create any real threats with the Queen because uh, I just have all being very, very well defended, which means I can easily push my pawn from here. I then play h3 and just sort of limit his counterplay with g4. Not that it really does that much here. I'll play d6 and... I mean, he just can't stop the pawn queening. He should have at least block a with the Queen, but it wouldn't have changed anything. Now, once again, you'll see I'm using my material aggressively here. I'm not just trying to safely hang on to the material, but I'm going to actually use it you know, to finish it off. So, yeah, with this game, you saw you know how to win by giving, well, not quite queen odds, but let's say queen and knight odds. And you also can see how to deal with the four-move checkmate, where you play them the right way. And you know, normally just follow bishop g7, d6, and castles for a, a very reliable game. Or if I let him, 94 could also be a good choice. So I hope you found this uh, video at least entertaining, if nothing else. And I'll see you in the next video.